the White Speedway bring National League action with the White Warriors taking on Coventry Storm at the Andrew Uni Stadium, Small Brook in Ride on the Isle of Wight. This evening's meeting is sponsored by ourselves, SpeedwayPortal.com. George Piper, the Warriors' number eight rider, he goes for the Coventry Storm at number seven tonight. We see Matt Williamson come into number one position for the Warriors as a guest replacement. Hopefully a new number one will be signed very shortly for the Warriors. But meanwhile, George Piper, the Warriors' number eight, he has a chance tonight to stake a claim for a regular reserve slot with the Warriors full time. We go to the pits for a pre-meeting chat with Lawrence Rogers, the Coventry Storm team manager, and also one half the Warriors promotion, Barry Bishop. OK, pre-meeting, we've got uh, the man in charge down here, Barry Bishop. Barry, um, how's it going with the team? Are the, uh, everything all right? Everything's great. Uh, we worked really hard on the track. I understand that I was away last week, as you know. Uh, uh, first few meeting I've missed, broke my heart to miss it, but that's how it is. Uh, and I know that there was some concerns with going into Ben 1, so we've worked really hard since uh, uh, that meeting at the weekend. We did extensive work, and luckily the weather's been on our side, so it's baked the track. And uh, we continued to work for the last two days as well, so the track is uh, in good form. So the general consensus and feedback from those that have walked it so far, great, great improvement. We've seen a lot of the photos on the um, social media as well, Facebook and Twitter, you know, people coming out to help. Uh, do, you, do you still need more people to come and help with the track? I think, you know, having more people here is not necessarily to remove the workload, but it makes it more fun. And, you know, having the right crowd with you and having the right team spirit ethos, it's great. And uh, when we were working on Wednesday night uh, until 11 o'clock uh, with water in the track and scraping out the shale, it was great. I mean, we had fresh new kids there, new blood. It was brilliant. Loved it. What do you think of the prospects tonight then against Coventry Storm? Uh, I would hope that we would win handsomely. OK, nice smile on there. Yeah, well, I'm confident. I uh, uh, I hope the boys are going to do well today. Um, uh, they deserve to do well. Uh, they Hopefully they'll have uh, themselves back into gear. It's great to be league racing again, and um, we haven't lost at home yet, so I don't want to lose. Looking ahead next week as well, we've got two meetings down here next week. Do you want to tell us a bit about those two? Yeah, so we've got uh, Kent Kings on um, Tuesday, then uh, Exeter Falcons on the Thursday. Kent Kings, of course, the old foe, so... We have to beat them. We need ninth warrior here. We need to max the place out, get behind the team. And uh, I'm sure we can turn them over. I'm, I'm confident uh, we will have uh, uh, Matt Williamson back in the side for that. And then um, on Thursday, we have our old friends, Exeter Falcons, of course, trying to return Speedway uh, to Exeter. Great bunch of people. Um, and we will have our old friend, Adam Ellison, at number one for that meeting. That's excellent news. Uh, also, tonight, obviously, Speedway Portal sponsoring the meeting tonight. Um, how do you think Speedway Portal's doing for you? Oh, well, we love working with Speedway Portal. You know, uh, there's the odd strange character. Andy's a bit <laughs> weird, but it's, in general, he's a great guy. Uh, no, Speedway Portal, um, is, they have the same vision that we have. Innovative, future, you know, it, Speedway involvement, family for all, all that kind of thing. And I'm very proud to be working with you all. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. And, and the flashy shirts, come on. Uh, when are these going to be on sale in the shop? Well, you know, I don't know if I want to put them on sale in the shop because then I'll be, uh, you know, I won't be the centre of attention. No, no, not really. Um, you know, if people want them, I can get them. We have a sponsor in Thailand who makes these outrageous shirts for us and uh, all of our team shirts. So uh, if people want them, then we can uh, we can organise that. It's just uh, we need to know uh, we can do it. That's wonderful. Thank you very much, Barry. Um, enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you. I'd just like to add one thing. George is actually in the side for uh, the uh, storm tonight, and uh, I've given him my express permission to go for it. Uh, I want him to have the chance to ride in a team and to hopefully you know, push our other reserves for a team spot. So I hope he does well. I, of course, I don't want to lose, but I hope he does well. All right, Barry. Thank you for that. OK, thanks a lot. Pre meeting with Dan here with Coventry Storm team manager. Lawrence Rogers. Lawrence, um, how's it been so far this season for you managing your National League side? Uh, very up and down. You know, we've had uh, a lot of injury problems. In one meeting, we lost two riders, well, Martin Nucky and Jamie Helder at Milton Hall. Um, Mark's out for the rest of the season. Jamie was coming back tonight, but unfortunately uh, his arm wasn't strong enough. But yeah, it has been a very up and down season for us. OK, it's quite a while since you've been down here as well, isn't it? It is, yes. You know, uh, it was strange getting on that ferry eventually. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, what's, what's your prospects, do you reckon, for tonight? We're going out for the win, mate. Uh, you know, we've got to be. We, we need those points in the bag. Uh, the boys are beginning to click again now. 
Um, Mitchell Davies has been a great acquisition for us there to come in to replace Martin Nucky. And, um, you know, I think we're on it to have a go. OK, thank you, Lawrence. We wish you the best of luck tonight. Thank you very much. So there we see some of the crowd this evening down here at the Andrew Uni Stadium. Having a look also into the uh, referee's box, and there we see Barbara Hawley, uh, SCB referee for the evening, just waiting now for the riders to get themselves ready to come out onto parade on this uh, meeting evening. There we have the clerk of the course there, Kev Shepherd. Uh, obviously, he was the uh, joint team manager down here as well for a number of seasons, together with... Um, Chris Hunt, who's now at Kent, managing the Kings, and here come the riders for you then, uh, coming out. First of all, we have the Storm Riders, and shortly in just a few moments, we're going to be seeing the Isle of Wight Warriors make their way out onto circuit, and there we have all the kids there doing the high fives. Great to see the involvement of the kids down here every single week then at the Andrew Uni Stadium. Just in the background there, one of the uh, promoters, Martin Widman, uh, really busy uh, running around doing stuff and a little hug there from George Piper to uh, Wilbur and our drummer boy Mr Drummer Boy there he is getting all ready old Stu on the drums giving him a good old bang as the Warriors come down led out this time by Matt Williamson the guest for the evening for the White Warriors at number one and once again the kids there getting their high fives and just behind them, of course, is the sweet stool, the famous sweet stool, just in front of the referee's box there. All the kids coming down each week and grabbing their drinks and sweets there at great knockdown prices. So we're going to go through the teams for you then this evening. First of all, at the number ones for the White Warriors and the Storm, well, one is Williamson and Dan Greenwood. At the twos are Kelsey Dugard and Connor Dwyer. The threes, Mark Baseby and Ryan Terry Daly. The fours are Lee Smart and Mitchell Davey. At number five, we've got James Cockle and we've got uh, Liam Cudd. At six, we've got Govia and Callum Walker. At seven, Nick Phillips and a guest for the Storm, George Piper. Pre-meeting in the pits, we've got Matt Williamson. He's uh, riding for us tonight in, in guest appearance, standing in for our uh, vacant number one. Uh, Matt, what brought this one about for you? Um, just I uh, got you know I got a text off uh, off Neil and uh, so obviously I jumped at the chance. Uh, Neil's a great bloke. He looked after me a lot when I first started out. Um, you know, so I remember stuff like that. Plus I do like it down here. You know, it's it's a fair old drive, but it's worth it when you get here. What well, what's it like for you? You know, travelling around and doing guest appearances. It's good. Yeah, you know, I just want to ride as much as possible. So you know, as long as as long as you get a deal good enough to to make it pay, I'll I'll do any rides that anyone will give me. That's good. Um, so what's, what's your thoughts of the track for tonight? Have you had a look at it? Yeah, I went out and had a look when I got here and it, um, it was about a month ago that I was last here and it's a big improvement on then. So, you know, obviously they've, they've been starting again this year after a layoff, so it's going to take time for them to get it back, but it, it looks really good. They're making um, big improvements. When you were down a few weeks ago on the island um, with that meeting, how do you feel you went in that one? Yeah, that was really good. I was with uh, with Bellevue, which is my National League club, and I only lost one race out of five. So, so yeah, we had a... Had a good night. Um, Coventry are a good team, but if I can put on a performance like that again, you know, for for you guys, then then that'd be really good. Do you think the setup would be pretty similar to that night compared to tonight? Yeah, just ex exactly the same. Um, see if it feels any different after the first race, but uh, but start off exactly where we where we left last time. So you're going to go through the card. Well, you always like to think. I don't like to be too cocky, but <laughs> you know, win as many races as possible, and that that would be good. All right, Matt, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your time. We'll let you get back to sorting yourself out. No problem. Thanks a lot. So we're going to get the meeting underway then at the Andrew Uni Stadium between the White Warriors and the Coventry Storm. The lineup for heat number one, kindly sponsored by Jason Waring. For the Warriors in red is Matt Williamson, his partner in blue, Kelsey Dugar. For the Storm in white, Dan Greenwood and his partner in yellow, Connor Dwyer. So another good crowd down here this uh, this afternoon. Our referee, of course, as we've uh, already seen, is uh, from the SCB, is Barbara Hawley. We welcome her along. And team managers, as always, for the Warriors is Neil Vacher. And the team manager for the Storm is Lawrence Rogers, who's been a long time in the sport with clubs throughout the country. Also helps in the GP circuit as well with uh, Chris Harris. So Stark Marshall walks away. Chris walks away for the first time. Those tapes fly up. 
and it is Williamson into the lead then for the first time around the first couple of turns then in heat number one opening up the meeting then with the Warriors now on a 5-1 situation with Dugard sat in second position so if it stays this way obviously it's 5-1 maximum point heat advantage to get the Warriors going over the storm with uh, in third place is Greenwood surprisingly back in third and way off the pace in this one and even further back is Connor Dwyer in yellow a little bit of a lock up there from Dugard has a cheeky look back and he's like yep yeah, that's fine I've got a nice comfortable second so yeah I'm okay lads let's just uh, keep this one going and round the circuit and pick up those two valuable points meanwhile still flying out in front Matt Williamson totally untroubled in this seat uh, great to see wouldn't it be good if he could become a rider down here full time for the Warriors you never know what might happen maybe next year who knows could be a great little Christmas present for those Warriors fans out there we'll have to wait and see that that's a decision obviously of the promoters uh, together with uh, Neil Vatcher as well obviously his input but there goes the chequered flag and the race win and three big points then for Matt Williamson and the result for you then of heat number one is a win in red for the Warriors Matt Williamson uh, second place in blue Kelsey Dugard and third place for the storm in white is Dan Greenwood so five big points to the Warriors one to the storm and there we see Matt there celebrating with a nice wheelie uh, being captured on uh, on camera by the photographer on the back straight moving swiftly on into heat number two we take you now riders coming up to tapes for this one and heat number two is sponsored by ourselves speedwayportal.com and a lineup for you in red for the Warriors Tyler Govia his partner in blue Nick Phillips for the storm in white Callum Walker and his partner in yellow is George Piper on loan to the evening to the storm so it'll uh, be interesting to see what George Piper can do up against the the two Warriors of Govia and Phillips as those tapes rise then for heat number two and straight away from this one it is the storm riders oh and a nasty uh, clip of the back wheel there from uh, looked like Nick Phillips yep Nick Phillips there clipped the back wheel there I think it was Callum Walker uh, we'll have to go and have a look at the replay of that if we can in a few moments yeah here it comes yep so there we go Nick Phillips there just clipping the back wheel there of uh, Callum Walker and horrible uh, horrible fall bouncing over there uh, let's hope he's uh, gonna be okay but that was quite an awkward fall and he's walking away there in quite some discomfort so let's see what happens and see if he's gonna be able to get back on a bike uh, in the rest of the meeting or not we're bringing out news as soon as we can but great to see the medics uh, straight away at there sorting him out meanwhile we go back to the rerun and we've just got uh, three riders obviously in this rerun no rider in a blue so uh, just taking a quick look we just got Govia then in red Walker white and Piper in yellow three riders only then for the rerun of heat number two sponsored as we said by ourselves speedwayportal.com So unfortunately uh, the news has just come through that Nick Phillips is going to be making a trip to hospital with a suspected uh, broken upper arm. Uh, we, we hope it's not broken, maybe it might be dislocated uh, but obviously the swelling would be uh, a little bit too tough to tell at the moment on first glances so we wish him all the best and hope to see him back in, uh, in the weeks to come as the riders get on with the rerun of heat number two and taking the advantage around the inside there we see Govia and we've got uh, a three all situation here at the moment with Walker in second place Piper there as we have a look at Piper guesting as we said for the storm in third but way out front now is Govia um, in a world of his own at the moment so that's uh, that's good for the young warrior burning away down the back straight there ahead of his uh, two opponents in the reserve berths for the storm so it's uh, going to be a 3-3 for this one which would keep uh, the Warriors just four points ahead after two heats there he goes again blasting right down the uh, back straight and round the turns excellent to see uh, these young lads getting a chance to ride the biggest circuit in the UK so good to see the Isle of Wight Speedway back up and running and long may it continue into the future as well 
you see how close they get to that fence there as they uh, swing that back wheel out to go around turn three and getting a checkered flag and the race win then that's Tyler Govia for the Warriors in the red helmet colour and the result of heat number two is a win in red then for Tyler Govia three points for him second in white for the storm Callum Walker and two points and third place in the yellow was George Piper with one point. Share of the points, three points apiece. And now we have the Warriors on eight and the Storm on four. There we see George Piper making his way back pit side. And we move on now to heat number three, sponsored by Cobra's Garage Mahal. In red, we've got Mark Baseby then for the Warriors, his partner in blue, Lee Smart. And for the Storm in white, Ryan Terry Daly, his partner in yellow, Mitchell Davey. And up go those tapes. And it's Davey and Baseby neck and neck around the turn one or two, but Baseby gets the drop into the lead he goes, entering the back straight. And looking in third place there is Lee Smart having a look around the outside of the top turns. Will he be able to get past Davey? He has a good little look now. He's going to have another look around turn one and two. Will he make it? Looks like Davey's got the better of him at the moment. But Smart's not too bad at going around the outside on the top two turns. He gets the uh, speed up. Here he goes. They're having another blast. But Davey's just about got the better of him as we stand at the moment. Good little race developing here between these two. And again, having a look around the top. So just up is the exhaust pipe. Will he make a big cutback on the, as they're on the last lap? He's got one more chance. Meanwhile, it's still basically way out front in a world of his own. Looks like Smart's too far back to uh, make any difference in this one. And Baseby goes across the line and gets a check flag and three big points for the Warriors. Result of heat number three, sponsored by Cobra's Garage Mahal, was a win for Mark Baseby in red for the Warriors and three points to him. Second for the Storm in yellow, Mitchell Davey in two points. And for the Warriors in third place in blue, Lee Smart and one point. Four points then for the Warriors, two for Storm, progressively after three heats. Warriors move on to 12 and the Storm on to six. Heat number four lineup in red for the Warriors is James Cockle and his partner in blue, reserve change ride for Tyler Govia. For the Storm, in white is Liam Carr and his partner in yellow is George Piper. Riders at the tapes and heat number four in memory of Roy Bomber Belcher. So Tyler Govia comes in in blue as a reserve change replacement for the injured Nick Phillips. Making the jump though in white for the visitors, Liam Carr being chased down already by James Cockle in red. In third place we saw him earlier on win heat number two, Tyler Govia. Great little battle out front there between Carr and Cockle. Cockle dropping back at the moment, will he be able to get on terms? By the back though is George Piper. Right in for the opposition tonight is George, sponsored by ourselves, SpeedwayPool.com. Good to see him getting some track time, being loaned out as he takes a tumble, unfortunately, there, going into turn three. Gets up very quickly to uh, get his bike off the circuit to allow the. Unfortunately, the red flags are up. He wasn't quite quick enough. Uh, unfortunately, the referee was a little bit too quick, I think, in her decision there, as he had easily cleared the track before the uh, riders were anywhere near. The result in the heat number four, the referee has declared that she's awarding heat number four 
Um, as the riders apparently started the third lap, so the race win goes to the Storms rider in white, Liam Carr on three points. James Cockle in red for the Warriors gets two points to second place, and in blue for third place for the Warriors, uh, Tyler Govier and one point. So the points were shared, three each. Progressively now after four heats, it's 15 for the Warriors, nine for Storm. Heat number five. This one's sponsored by our friends from TB Motorcycles. For the Warriors in red, Mark Baseby. In blue is partner Lee Smart. For the Storm in white is Dan Greenwood. His partner in yellow is Connor Dwyer. Colour cars squeezing past up there as well. Almost as tight in a car park as it is out on circuit around turn one. As the tapes rise and you've got uh, the rider in red there, Baseby once again flying to the front. Cheeky look back there at turn number two and he sees Dan Greenwood in second place. Now having another look around the outside, can he make it stick? There he goes, Lee Smart moves from third into second place. So the Warriors now on a 5-1 winning situation in this race. Back at the back there is Connor Dwyer. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like uh, Dan Greenwood will be able to make any roads on the two Warriors in front of this moment, with Baseby absolutely flying at this Thursday night here at the Andrew Uni Stadium, a small brook in ride. Track looking absolutely superb as well. They've been putting lots and lots of work in down here as well during the last few days. Uh, in the heat of the year as well, the hottest few days that we've had this summer. Um, but the hard work has definitely paid off. So just half a lap to go then for Baseby. Completely untroubled out front once again. Looking like making himself the king of the Andrew Uni Stadium as he gets that checkered flag and another three big points then for the Warriors. Result of heat number five and sponsored by our friends at TB Motorcycles is a win for the Warriors rider in red, Mark Baseby. Three points to him. Backed up in blue for the second place, Lee Smart and two points. For the Storm, third place rider in white was Dan Greenwood and one point. So the maximum five points for the Warriors, one to the Storm. Now sees the Warriors take a ten point lead, 20 points to ten. Heat number six line up for the Warriors in red is Matt Williamson and in blue his partner is Kelsey Dugard. For the Storm in white is Liam Carr and his partner in yellow Callum Walker. And it is Carr out front battling away with Williamson. Williamson just ran the outside out of turn two. Super little move there, leaning on that car on the inside. So as we look at that at the moment, then the uh, Warriors are going to have another heat advantage if it goes this way. Kelsey Duo is still not 100% fit. Uh, still feeling the effects of uh, tonsillitis. So uh, let's hope he keeps it all together out there and. You know, has a good meeting then for the Warriors tonight. Williamson looking good though once again. As he goes into his last lap down here. Comfortable lead. And uh, Liam Carr there having no chance of getting on terms as Williamson goes across line, gets those three big points then as our guest tonight for the Warriors.
result heat number six sponsored by my first skid was a win for the warriors rider in red matt williamson and three points to him second in white for the storm is liam carr and two points and third in blue for the warriors kelsey dugard and one point so that's a 4-2 advantage for the warriors and progressively now it's the warriors 24 and the storm 12. We go and have a chat with Ryan Terry Daly before this evening's meeting. In the pits uh, today, we've got Ryan Terry Daly from Coventry Storm. Uh, Ryan, you started off at Mildenhall a few years ago, yeah? How's things going for you since um, moving from Mildenhall? Um, yeah, I think it's been better. Eh? Like when I went to Mildenhall, and, uh, when I went to come to Coventry in 2014, it was good, and then I, just, I think my average went up to six, and then it went back down to, I don't know what it went back down to, about four. <laughs> then I went to Stoke, and I had a pretty good year at Stoke. And then to come back, it's been it's been pretty good. It's got a few points, but and everyone you know everyone has a bit like a slow spot middle of the season, and then like starts to come back. So haven't rode that much, but see how it goes. What do you think your prospects are for this season with Storm? Um, I'd like to get like I'm number three, so I'd like to get at least a bit higher than that, and then see how it goes. Just take it as it is. Okay, and um, what's your favourite track that you've ridden at so far? What National League track? Any track? Probably probably Peterborough. Peterborough, okay. Well, we wish you all the best tonight. Bikes are starting up. We'll let you go and get your kit all sorted and good luck. Cheers. Heat number seven lineup for the Warriors in red is James Cockle and his partner in blue, Tyler Govia. For the Storm in white is Ryan Terry Daly with his partner in yellow, Mitchell Davy. Team number seven then, in memory of the late E. Shepherd. Cockle in red, Govia in blue for the Warriors, Terry Daly and Davey in white and yellow respectively. As we see there, uh, Terry Daly not able to get away from the tape, so it's a three horse race in this one. Mitchell Davey though, he gets the jump for the visitors. First time that we've had the visitors looking a little bit strong in the race. And unfortunately, all that they can possibly get out of this is an even slot on this match. So Mitchell Davy looking a little bit smoother and uh, previous rides so far this evening. Will Cockle be able to do anything about this? Second place at the moment. Looks to be fighting his bike a little bit around the inside there at turn one and two. Now he's up high on uh, three and four, trying to get that extra speed again. Will he be able to do anything? Just one lap to go. I think the distance is a little bit too much even for the home man down here at the Andrew Uni Stadium, looking much like a share of the points. And there we go. Mitchell Davy, he pops over, takes the uh, checker flag for the first time this evening, and three points in for the Storm. Let's have a look at the replay then of the start of heat number seven once again. So the result, heat number seven, in memory of the late E. Shepherd, was a win for the Storm Rider in yellow, Mitchell Davy in three points. Second place for the Warriors in red, James Cockle in two points. And his teammate in blue, Tyler Govia, picked up third place and one point. Share of the points, three each. Progressively now, the Warriors on 27, the Storm on 15. Heat number eight lineup in red for the Warriors, Kelsey Dugard, and in blue reserve change right for Tyler Govia. For the storm in white is Connor Dwyer, and his partner in yellow is George Piper. As we see the storm go out in front, Connor Dwyer and his uh, team partner in third place. This time round, George Piper. Dugard moves into second, into first place now, going into turn three on the first lap. And uh, Piper's taken another little tumble again, as has the rider in blue, uh, Govia. So two riders down, 
on certain fourth bend, red lights on once again. So we take another look here at George Piper going around the outside there and sliding off turn number three. So uh, that's going to be a little bit sore in the morning. Uh, good to see though him getting back up and on his feet. So once again we have a look at the revised lineup for the rerun of heat number eight sponsored by Ha Ha Training. In red it's Kelsey Dugard in a blue reserve change ride for Tyler Govia. In white we've got Connor Dwyer and uh, no George Piper in yellow. Uh, he's excluded as the cause of the stoppage. So three riders back up to tape to the rerun of heat number eight. Up there you go. And it's the storm rider Dwyer in front, but coming through is Dugard, cutting through the inside. So now Dwyer splits the two uh, warriors there going down the back straight. But Govia in as a reserve change here for the injured Nick Phillips. Had a little sneaky look there, but uh, didn't quite have the legs to go through. Will he be able to make dents uh, come around the inside? Ooh, a little bit close. He tucks in nice and tight there, going underneath Dwyer. Dwyer coming back around the outside, neck and neck down the home straight. Dwyer holding on. Great little race between these two lads. Dwyer makes a little mistake there on turn three. Sends himself a little bit wide, but he gets a little bit more speed. Meanwhile, still way out front is Kelsey Dugard in a world of his own in this one. Heading away for another heat advantage and for the Warriors over the storm. Dugard comes over the line, gets a checkered flag and another three points in the back then for the Warriors. And there we see Dwyer uh, just outside of Govia around that top turn at the moment. Look at that, look how uh, how bumpy they've gone around there. And Dwyer just getting the drop there on Govia. Result of heat number eight was a win for the Warriors rider in red, Kelsey Dugard and three points. Second place for the Storm in white was Connor Dwyer and two points. And finally in third place in blue for the Warriors was Tyler Govia in a reserve change ride and one point. So it was a 4-2 heat advantage and to the Warriors and now progressively after eight heats of racing at the Andrew Uni Stadium it's the Warriors on 31 and the Coventry Storm on 17. We move swiftly on then to heat number nine sponsored by Daldo Nigre and for the Warriors in red is Mark Baysby from gate number three and his partner in blue Lee Smart from gate number one. So for the storm we see Liam Carr back out in white he's going from gate two and Callum Walker in yellow going from gate four. So the Warriors they're really uh, they are weathering the storm well and truly in this uh, meeting so far today and uh, we look at the score line, it's now 31-17. So a massive points all then for the Warriors. Big payday for the Riders and for uh, Barry and Martin, the promoters down here. Great to see such a big crowd as well. Even though the sun has gone down now, a bit unfortunate, but we've had some great, uh, great few days of uh, lovely sunny weather. Hardened the track off and the track is racing very, very well. Very little dust, just what the doctor ordered. Tapes got then and we're underway then with heat number nine. Getting a jump straight away is Smart in blue. Goes out a little too wide. Nipping through his car into first place. Smart says looks like he's retiring at the back. Looks like he's got a problem there. But in second place we got Baysby. So Baysby, first time this evening, he's not been leading a race. What can he do against Liam Carr? Let's see if he can uh, make his way around and pick him. So the lone warrior has got it all to do all on his own. He's got a little fighting tiger out there in Liam Carr who's uh, determined to do something here for the Storm. Goes out a little wide there though, but recovers himself. So great race between these two. Here goes Baysby around the outside. Can he get the jump on him? No, he can't. So into turn three. 
He's getting out there right by that fence to try and get that extra speed. Not quite enough as they go into the last heat of this, last lap, sorry, of this heat. And he cuts inside in turn one and two. What a maneuver that was then from Baseby to take the lead in heat nine. There he goes as well. He's going to run away with this one as Carr decides to coast it. Something wrong with Carr's machine. Will he, uh, will he coast over for second place? Yes, he does. He just pips his teammate there. Here we have a look at uh, Mark Baseby just going inside uh, Liam Carr. A little replay there for you. Excellent camera work there. The result in heat number nine was a win in red for Mark Baseby for the Warriors and three points to him. Uh, cracking race as well, put on by the Storm's second place rider in white, Liam Carr, and two points. And in third place, the other Storm rider in yellow, Callum Walker, and one point. So shared heat, three points each. And now we see the uh, Warriors 14 points ahead, 34 to 20. Heat number 10 lineup for the Warriors in red is Matt Williamson, his partner in blue, Kelsey Dugard. For the Storm in white is Ryan Terry Daly, and his partner in yellow is Mitchell Davey. Up go those tapes and getting a jump straight away is Williamson once again, but having a look on the inside is uh, Davy in yellow, but Williamson keeps it along the back straight. And in third place then is Dugard tucking in there to give the Warriors a heat advantage as we stand in this one. So a great choice in guess then. In the number one position for the Warriors is Matt Williamson. Super stuff from him tonight. Unbeaten by an opponent. Two wins so far on course for three out of three. Riders spread out in this one. As it stands, the Warriors have got another two points ahead. And into the last lap they go. Williamson showing some low. Uh, Excellent skills uh, around this circuit. Only ridden it a couple of times before, so uh, great to see him coming across, getting that checkered flag then for the Warriors, and another three points in the back for him. Result of heat number 10 in memory of the late Shazzy Bird for the Warriors. It's a win in red for Matt Williamson and three points. Second place for the Storm in yellow was Mitchell Davy in two points, and third place for the Warriors in blue, Kelsey Dugard and one solitary point. Heat advantage 4-2 for the Warriors, progressively after 10 heats, it's now the Warriors on 38 and the Storm way back on 22. So there we see Matt Williamson celebrating with a wheelie down the back straight. And riders coming up to the tapes end for the start uh, of the uh, race once again. We move on to heat number 11, kindly sponsored by our friends from Sharp. For the Warriors in red is James Cockley, his partner in blue, Tyler Govia. For the Storm in white, Dan Greenwood, his partner in yellow, Connor Dwyer. So from the tapes is Cockle. Untroubled from those takes. Greenwood now in second place. We've gone around the outside. Govia goes right around his opponent there to give the Warriors a 5-1 advantage in this situation as they are at the moment. At the end of the first lap, great little manoeuvre there from Govia. Oh, and he's, uh, he's slid off there, unfortunately. Turn number one. And he's going to stay down, so we're going to have to have a rerun then of heat number 11 coming your way shortly. We'll have another look at the replay then there of Tyler taking the slide off to number one. Yeah. 
So good to see Tyler there getting back up from that little tumble, back onto his machine and makes his way back to the pits. Still got a couple of rides to come his way this evening, so uh, let's hope he's not done too much damage to man or machine. So once again, we have a look at the revised lineup of heat number 11 for the rerun, sponsored by our friends from Sharp. No Tyler Govia, but we have got uh, James Cockle still in red, in white, Dan Greenwood, and in yellow, Connor Dwyer. So riders coming back up to tapes. So back to the race and we go, the rerun then of heat number 11. Just the three riders only, and this once again, Cockle away from the start, line lining again in heat number 11. So the lone warrior doing his business out front, ahead of Dan Greenwood and Connor Dwyer. So already well spread out in this one. It's going to be a follow my leader job then. Heat number 11, sponsored by our friends from Sharp. So a share of the points as it stays like this, we'll see the uh, Warriors move uh, onto 41 and the Storm onto 25. So the meeting beyond all doubt will go the way of the Warriors. Cockle still pulling away out front as he comes down the home straight there for the last time to uh, enter into the last lap. A little bit of dust starting to come up, but we're going for an interval right after this race. A little bit of time for some track prep, some watering and some grading. But first of all, that's the skipper taking the checker flag and three points then for the Warriors, the winner of heat number 11. And the result then for you of heat number 11, sponsored by our friends from Sharp, was a win for the Warriors rider in red, James Cockland, three points. Second place for the Storm in white was Dan Greenwood with two points. And third place in yellow, Connor Dwyer for the Storm and one point. Share of the points, three each, which now brings progressively after 11 heats. The Warriors move to 41 and Storm to 25. There we see James Cockle, a skipper going that round after his uh, lap of honour. And one of our mascots out on circuit as well, bombing it round the Andrew Uni Stadium. Great to see the young lads having a chance each and every week before, during and after the meetings. Look at the uh, little slide on the gas. Oh, and a uh, little rut there and down he goes. So he's going to have many more of those, I uh, no doubt, uh, throughout his uh, young racing career. But look at that, straight back up, gets his bike. He's going to want to get going once again. A few uh, spits of rain from out of nowhere. So uh, not, we're not too happy about that one. We're not undercover, we're out in it, just like everybody else down here. So uh, we're just waiting for those riders to get themselves ready. So following the interval, we're back to racing with heat number 12. This one's sponsored by Mion Accountancy Services. And uh, for the Warriors in red, Mark Baseby, he's partnered in blue with a reserve change ride for Tyler Govia. For the Storm in white, Ryan Terry Daly and in yellow, Callum Walker. So that's the lineup. We just wait for them to get themselves ready. Start Marshall puts his hands up in the air there. Not too sure if that's a new style of dance. Off they go then, and it's the rider in red, Baseby once again to the front from the tapes. He's trapping well, very, very well in front of the two uh, Storm riders, Terry Daly and Walker. Uh, the back in this one is Govia. So Govia looks like he's probably tiring a bit, uh, taking one or two extra rides there following Nick Phillips' trip to the hospital. But Baseby, no such problem, lying out in front. Three wins so far tonight. This one looks like it's going to be four out of four. All action style, popular rider down here at the Andrew Uni Stadium. The Storm Riders though are nowhere to be seen. And uh, they're packing places two and three. So Ryan Terry Daly 
and uh, Callum Walker then that's into the last lap they go Ace be looking absolutely fast out there tonight flying away with it almost quarter of a lap in front as he gets that checkered flag and a win once again four out of four it is for Baseby and three big points result of heat number 12 sponsored there by me on accountancy services limited is a win for the Warriors rider in red Mark Baseby fourth rider on and fourth win on the trot then for Mark and three points there to him. Second place for the Storm in white, Ryan Terry Daly in two points. And third place in yellow, Callum Walker and one point. Share of the points, three each. And it's now the Warriors moving on to 44 and Storm 28. And now we see Mark Baseby popping around on his well and truly earned lap of honour. Heat number 13 lineup Battle of the Big Guns for the Warriors in red, Matt Williamson, his partner in blue, James Cockle, and for the Storm in white, Dan Greenwood, his partner in yellow, Liam Carr. And it is uh, Carr to the front in this one. And we've got uh, Cockle there sneaking a look up the inside round turn three. Will he be able to make it stink? No, he won't. Carr hangs on to this one and pulls well away there from Cockle. Williamson, he's, uh, he's had uh, three wins so far, unbeaten all night. And he's back in third place. And trailing off at the rear is Dan Greenwood. So Liam Carr then, he's high and wide. Uh, doesn't look like there's much that Cockle's going to be able to do about this one. Spreading out very, very quickly. So Carr has obviously got used to the circuit down here at Ride as he goes into the uh, last lap. And stays like this, share of the points. Now we see the back, he's uh, trailing in there, Dan Greenwood, powering off. Meanwhile, Liam Carr goes across, gets a chequered flag, and the win then for the Storm. Result of heat number 13, sponsored by Alan Critcher, is a win for the Storm's rider in yellow, Liam Carr, and three points to him. Second place in blue for the Warriors is James Cockle and two points. Third place for the Warriors in red, Matt Williamson on one point. Share of the points, three points apiece. Progressively, it's now the Warriors 47 and the Storm 31. And the riders coming around for their lap of honour. Great to see them doing this as we move on towards the next heat then. Penultimate race tonight then, heat number 14, sponsored by Hypos. For the Warriors in red, Lee Smart, partnered in blue by Tsoi Logovia. For the Storm in white, it's Mitchell Davey and his partner in yellow, George Piper. So just one more race to go after this one. Currently the Warriors 47, Storm 31, and the rain is starting to trickle down here. But taking a jump is Smart and Davey out front. Will Smart get around the outside, going out of turn two. Will Davey hold on? Davey holds on down the back straight into turn three and four. Smart up high, can't make it pay though. Meanwhile, it's Govia there in third place and Piper in yellow at the back. Down the back straight then, it's still Davey uh, pulling away out front. And we have a fall of Govia going down in blue there on turn three. Uh, Piper very cool to uh, miss him. The red lights come on, so uh, we wait and see what the referee Barbara Hawley decides for this one. Meanwhile, we'll take a look at the uh, slide off there from Tyler Govia along the third turn. And the result of heat number 14, the race has been awarded with the exclusion there of Tyler Govia as the cause of the stoppage. The win goes to Mitchell Davey in white and three points. Second place in red, Lee Smart, two points. Third place in yellow, George Piper, one point. So it's a 4 2 to the Bs, 49 35. 
So this is it. It's what it all comes down to. Heat number 15, SBS EPOS. Heat sponsors for the Warriors in red, James Cockle. He's partnered in blue by Mark Baysby. For the Storm in white is Mitchell Davey, and his partner in yellow is Liam Carr. So the Warriors, they've elected to take eights two and four then in the last heat. Currently leading a 49-35. Great victory then for the Warriors in front of such a good crowd. Just a bit of a shame that uh, there's a little bit of rain spitting down upon us for the last two or three heats. So let's uh, hope that that just stays a little bit spitting and doesn't get heavy. And uh, everyone can get away, get home nice and dry. Meanwhile out there, the Star Marshal is trying to get the uh, riders up to the tapes for the start of E15. The crowd getting well behind, making lots of noise out there for the riders in this one. Kane Cockle and Baseby whitewash the storm pairing, but no, at the moment we've got a car out front, but cutting inside is Cockle. Cockle uh, tries to cut inside his uh, opponent there, Car in yellow, but uh, Car uh, he, he sucks up that uh, speed around the outside and he's, uh, he's way out front now already with the uh, Warriors pairing in them two minor placings and uh, drifting way at the back and now is Mitchell Davey. So in blue, Mark Baseby there. Ooh, looking like he was going to take a tumble, but uh, he managed to uh, to uh, save it. And uh, he's not looking quite as fast as he was earlier on. Either that or Carr has found something uh, special in his machine. But he is gone and out front. He comes across the line then to start his last lap. And we got Cockle, and Baseby, and Davy. So going down up back straight with his elbow inches away from those wide boards. Around the top turns and over getting that checkered flag then. It's Liam Carr for the Storm and three points. The result of heat number 15, sponsored by SBS EPOS, was a win for the Storm's rider in yellow, Liam Carr, with three points. Second for the Warriors in red, James Cockle, and third place in blue is teammate Mark Baysby, and one point for him. Points to shed, then three points each in the final race of the evening, which gives the final result of the Warriors winning 52 points to the Storm's 38. So we take a look at the result for you now. It's a win, 52 to 38 for the Warriors over Coventry Storm at the Andrew Uni Stadium. Going through the individual score charts in a few moments there we see Mark Baseby there but first of all the Coventry Storm side Dan Greenwood he got four points Connor Dwyer three and a bonus Ryan Terry Daly two Mitchell Davy ten Liam Carr thirteen Callum Walker four and two bonus George Piper two and a bonus and the Warriors Matt Williamson, 10 and a bonus. Kelsey Dugard, 7 and 1 bonus. Mark Baseby, 13 and a bonus. Lee Smart, 5 and a bonus. James Cockle, 11. Tyler Govia, 6 and 2 bonus. And Nick Phillips with a suspected uh, broken upper arm. So with a meeting sponsored by ourselves, SpeedwayPortal.com, that brings us to an end this Thursday night at the Andrew Uni Stadium a small brook ride on the Isle of Wight. We're in the Premier Lounge after tonight's meeting uh, with the Warriors uh, winning tonight against the Coventry Storm. Uh, we've got our guest here, uh, Matt Williamson. We've also got Liam, his mechanic as well. Liam, what's it actually like working in the pits and mechanicing for a, a guy like this? Yeah, it's real good to be fair, you know, we're going like a, a house on fire, you know, we look sort of like brothers in the way we are. We we bounce off each other so when we're working on the track it's it's quite easy to relate to you know if we need to change anything or we need to see what's going wrong to work progress but tonight don't change nothing when we're winning okay so who makes a call on any changes are you looking out during the races to see if there's anything or is it all down to matt when he comes in and says oh crikey this was horrible let's do this um it's a bit of a split decision sometimes you know if like if matt says what do i what do you look what did it look like out there if i say well you need a bit more speed, and then we'll discuss what we need to change to make the engine go better. Or, you know, if he's if he 
sometimes he'll come in and say drop a top, drop a sprocket or change the jet or drop the timing, and we go like that. You know, that's how it is, and we we bounce off each other, so we we sort of work well together. Okay, Liam and Matt, ten and one bonus tonight, and uh, apparently you're back down here Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Looking forward to those ones. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday and Thursday, and uh, yeah, it's good good night good night tonight. Um, I won my first three races and then Heat 13 just, just didn't quite make the gate, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, still a really good night. So yeah, we're back here Tuesday and Thursday. If I can repeat this kind of performance, I'll be happy. And you're riding at Bellevue. What is, what is it like riding in the National Stadium? Yeah, it's good. Obviously, you know, there's, there's no doubt in that. Um, it's just, uh, it's a really big, big fast track. So it, it's, it's difficult because you've no home track advantage. So you've got to really, really be on your game. Um, you know, but all the little niggles, are, they're all fine now and the track is superb. Speed-wise, you say it's really fast up there. We've watched it on um, TV as well and it does look fast. What's it like in speed-wise compared to down here at uh, Smallbrook? Well, to be fair, you actually have a sense of going faster at a track like this because it's, it's longer straights and narrow, so you're really aware of your speed, whereas, whereas at Bellevue, it's so wide and big, you know, it, it just feels really comfortable so yeah you're probably going faster but you don't quite realize how fast you're going okay well, how's it go with uh, finding sponsors for yourself Matt yeah obviously you know sponsors are a big part of it and uh, without them it, it isn't it isn't possible because you know the the money is is okay but you know we need their backing so um, I've got a few really good sponsors behind me like uh, Putaline, Promenex, um, Miri Harcourt and Berry Motorcycles okay well we wish you the best of luck thank you for your time once again Okay, guys, we're here in the uh, Premier Lounge at the end of the evening. Uh, what an awesome meeting that was. Uh, White Warriors coming out victorious quite happily, and we're shuffling. And we got Barry with us again. We spoke to Barry earlier on in the, uh, the evening before the meeting. Got to be happy with that. Yeah, extremely happy. You know, it was great to um, be back racing National League again, and the crowd was uh, really interactive tonight. The drums gone down amazingly well. The riders performed as we all know that they can do. Uh, sad news for Nick Phillips, unfortunately. Uh, I believe he's broken something on his upper arm, not 100% sure, but, but we wish him well, of course. Uh, but in general, the guys, the boys all dug in deep and uh, we had a great win. Really very, very proud of them. And it bodes well, because obviously next week we have two, uh, two meetings in one week. Tuesday, Thursday, Kent. Tuesday, tough team. Uh, Kent, of course, very tough team, and uh, you know there are nemesis at the moment. They've been here a couple of times and just about turned us over, but you know for different reasons. One, we lost Mark Baysby in his first heat, and the second one, I think Mark was still out. So uh, I, I'm 100% sure we can do something this time. It's our turn to turn them over. They're full strength. Uh, we've got Matt Williamson again as number one, and he rode extremely well tonight. And uh, uh, with his leadership and the rest of the team. Who are all performing great again? Yeah, uh, we 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 will do it, I'm sure. And I, I've got to mention how um, how quick Mark Baseby was to, this evening on the track, uh, breaking this year's um, record of the track, if you like, that's been held for this year um, by a, a mile. He was so quick out there. Yeah, um, it, it, the track was fantastic. Um, we spent a lot of time over the last two days on the track. Uh, we were here uh, Wednesday night, Thursday, sorry, Tuesday night. Uh, Wednesday, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday to get the track right. We had a couple of issues at the meeting before. Uh, in general, the track was was great. We had no, uh, absolutely no blue, blue groove anywhere, uh, and the track staff, of course, have all done really, really well. And we've introduced uh, some younger teams. We have a bit of uh, fun, a bit of banter, and and they love it now. And so much so, actually, if you were to turn the camera out to the track, there's two guys already scraping the shale back. So. That's commitment from them, and I'd just like to say that we appreciate everyone that supports us. 100%, yeah. So we've talked about Tuesday. We are going to talk about Thursday. Nomadic um, Exeter Falcons coming down. Uh, Steve Luxon's hometown, of course, who sponsors the White Warriors. Um, exciting. It's great to have these. We had Weymouth earlier on in the season, of course. It's great to have Exeter back as well. Yeah, was, and of course, it actually has meaning because it's for the Solent Trophy. So... Uh, Yes, Steve Luxton, a great sponsor of the Warriors, uh, um, and it's his hometown. Uh, and of course, you know, we, we want to support Exeter, we want to support Weymouth. We wish them well in their quest to bring their team back. They've got uh, two great guys with Rob and Alan there who are really promoting a nomadic team working quite closely with Somerset. And uh, we also will be bringing in for that meeting uh, an old island favourite in the name of uh, Adam Ellis.